So we are now in the car, ready to go. So we have just had to take a rather large detour because my love did not come off the M11 for the M25, which apparently was my fault because I was talking too much. That's true. It's not true. Bored. Lily is bored. Seb, are you bored? No. No? Are you happy, boy? Bored. You're not bored, Lily. We are seven miles away from Western Supermare. Well, and shall we drop in Abigail and the kids and continue the journey? Yay. Rude. Bad. So we went into Bude last night and it turns out it was Bude Carnival. Who knew? <laughs> so there was lots of roads closed and we couldn't park and we ended up going the wrong way down a one way street. <laughs> um, but it was really cool and there was a really random Christmas float. But um, the children really like that, so that's fine. Um, and then we had really delicious burgers and chips at the shack. They were really tasty, but I don't know why, but the table, it was like when you go to a Japanese, authentic Japanese restaurant and you have to sit on the floor and the tables are lower than coffee table height. That's what it was like. Whereas on the other side of the restaurant, it was, they were full height. So we couldn't really get our heads around that. It was a bit weird. Um, but, and it was really difficult to eat our delicious burgers on those funny little tables. So they need to change that because it doesn't make much difference just raising it up a bit. I see France. You don't, you don't see France, I, darling. I see Asia. You don't see Asia. That's what I need. Let's go, let's go and get one of those GoPros for you today. I'm filming it so that we have a record of our holiday. Just in case we forget. Well, you know, when we're old and decrepit, <laughs> we'll have no idea what our names are, let alone that we went to Cornwall. The neighbours must love it. I realised how early it was actually. They were out there early, like hollering. We were up at six and Seb was trying to go outside. I was like, no, the dogs can go outside. Then ghost started barking. I was like, come inside. And then the two others wouldn't come in. Milo and Esmo were like looking at me as if to say, dream on, love. Dream on. That's where you get the gravy bones. Oh, yeah, sensible. Although Esme is so stubborn, she wouldn't even come in for treats. Milo's yeah, keyword is watch. If you say Milo, watch. I, do you know what I said it to him? You have to say it in a nice, really gentle way. Hello, watch. And he just, he's like, yeah, what do you want? Oh, no, I was a bit more aggressive more, than that. All he does is it's all about curiosity because you want to do it for me. It's Kirsty's dog. Obviously. Well, they're meant to be my dogs. And then at night... Well, you know when they're your dogs. 
Why? When they piddle. Oh yeah, when they, yeah. Yeah, they do, yeah. And then he goes, well, they're your dogs, babe. You sort it out. Thank you. But at night, he'll take all the cuddles. Bastard. Bastard. (laughs) We are going to Nuki. Is everyone excited? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah? So when I was a kid, I went on a school trip to Newquay and I've been a few times with my mum and my sister and um, David's never been. So I think he will be quite impressed with the beach. It's not quite beach weather. Do I look like a surfer guy? I never want to do this game. No, I didn't say you look like a surfer guy. Um, okay, Lily, can you change it for him then, please? But we're off and our... David's sister and brother-in-law are in the car behind and we're off so we'll see you in Newquay. So we are in Newquay and we are at the pirate, what's it called? (laughs) What's it even called? A swashbuckling adventure pirate quest but they can't fit us in yet so we have to come back but that's fine because we're gonna go and get some lunch. It's a little bit drizzly, we've just parked in just the car park opposite which is handy but it looks pretty cool Seb's having a nice little rest on the chair Lily that's the proper tourist sandal people some weird rocket <laughs> yeah that's what we do <laughs> got my gold kicks on oh we're nearly there I thought about it please be respectful We're going on an adventure. Like me, you don't want to be ruining your best boot. So, uh, luckily for you, us pirates, we know how to get ourselves out of a tricky situation like this. So, uh, I think the best way to escape from this there is sinking ship is through this secret passageway here. So, uh, if you want to be saving yourselves and get onto oh. dry land, I suggest you uh, be following me through here. Oh. Oh. Come on, through so then, so that's so it. Well. Best R you can muster. One, two, three. Arr. Oh dear, that was truly painful. Shall we try again? Now, my don't fall through the secret. You've got to do R. Uh, one, two, three. Arr. Arr. Oh, In the scary caves. Have you seen any more? <gasps> Jaden, there's a clue here. Maybe. Tea with a nice tea. Tea? To keep your wits about you. Uh, well, he's not the nicest of people himself. See, uh, Captain Blackbeard, he, like some of us players would, to get a bit of extra coin, he'd rather just chop off hands and pop them in his pockets and sort all the rings out later, save a bit of time. Or, uh, his best friend, Israel Hands, no longer has any use of his right leg. Good morning. So, today, we are going to Gnome World. Uh, which I think the kids are really going to enjoy. Um, the weather has settled down quite a lot. It's nowhere near as windy, so that's really great. And we are off to Gnome World. Pirate adventure tour thing yesterday was good. The children really enjoyed it. That was a really scary part. But Gnome World today, you know, we sort of know um, it's basically just... Um, what I, from what I can see on the website, 
I think it's just um, sort of like a country house grounds and so you just walk around the grounds and um, we're taking the dogs um, which will be good because they're full of beans um, and exhaust the children it's a little win-win I feel and apparently we get gnome hats and fishing rods to walk around with and take pictures so I absolutely cannot wait to get David in a gnome hat with a fishing rod I'll frame that picture that's a bedside table picture maybe even a coffee, ta coffee table picture so when people come around they can see him like a gnome we have arrived at gnome land it was a very treacherous route but Oh, here comes, that's Seb. But look, Auntie Kirsty. Gnomes! Gnomes! So now we have got our gnome hats on <laughs> to go into the gnome reserve. Looking amazing. Got a sticker. Gnome reserve. We are heading in gnome hunting. My absolute goodness me, there are so many gnomes. Look at the gnome on the swing. There are so many gnomes. Look at those two gnomes, they're swinging. They're swinging. Get that shot, Kirsty, get that shot. <laughs> Fishing that guy's hat. Yeah. Someone's fishing the guy's hat. There it is. Oh, yes, someone caught this. Ghost jumped off the other side. Sebby? Sebby? Do you like all the names? I like all of them, but I'm so afraid. It's golfing though. Oh, cool. Can you actually believe there's this many gnomes? I thought John would be in his element. He would love it. Oh, look, you have fishing rods left. Behind you. Oh, come and fish then. Get a fishing rod and fish a, fish a rock. Oh, let's get a fishing rod. I'm going to fish a rock. You need to be in the next one. Right, have you got a fishing rod? You literally did catch one. Go on the other side. Billy, move up. Say gnomes! Gnomes! We can't keep it. Go on! Can I borrow your fishing rod a minute, mate? This is really, 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 really cold. <laughs> I'm on a, a massive duck pedlo. Fishing rod that I'm fishing with. Yeah, I love it. Thanks. I need to catch some okay. fish. So this is. How are we going to turn around? Can we crash that other swan? No, we're not crashing. Lily, you having a nice time? Ow! I'm catching the fish too! Have you got to put it in the water? Don't fall out of seaweed. So, if we catch a bit of seaweed, you just put it in a bit more and catch a bit of seaweed. Seaweed's a bit of seaweed. We're not going to overtake this guy, but it'll be nice to fish in. Fishing. Have you caught anything yet? No. Not yet. No, it's just water. Right, don't lean too far. Why? But we're going to go to the But this boat. Try golf tournament. What position did you come in? Um, I think fifth or fourth. <laughs> out of five. <laughs> You gotta go. You weren't going anywhere. You gotta go, didn't you? It went right into the bank. No, 
very mechanically minded. We went into the bank in a pedalo. So I for goodness sake. Open butterfly. Oh, <laughs> if you're not going to pick up after it. Correct, Lily. You've got to be a good dog owner, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Pick up after your doggy. We pick, after, we pick up after our doggies, don't we? I'm a slug! All right, darling. Oh, ice cream parlour. Flush. Flush. Right, there's a car coming. Tired now. We're all tired. We need a rest. Do you want to go? To, do you want to go to the beach? Yeah. No, I just you don't want to go and sit on the sand? No, I just bed. We're gonna go and sit on the sand. Oh. Do you get a wet suit? No. Keep it dry. No. I don't think he needs a wet suit. What? I don't think he's a professional beach dweller. Do you want that one? I know you want that one because he's put that one there. There's a bucket in here, do you want to have a little look? You want, oh, there's two there. I'm saving my one. Pull it up. That's a frozen one. Oh. Do you want a Thomas one? Hold on, put the frozen one back there. I want some flags. Or do you want minions? 
It's very cool. Why are you not getting it? Why do you get one of the big ones? Daddy's got hold of it, sweetie, so that we can pay for it. What do you want to get one of these? Sebby, what are you building? A sandcastle. Go on then. Turn the bucket. Ready? Monkey for Ethan. Yeah. Here you go, Sebastian. Okay. Well done, Seb. When you got put the flag on top, where's the wet? Where's the wet sand? We are on Bude Beach. It's very Can busy. Put a flag on your it's a beautiful day. And you said building sand castles. Up. Wait, so you dig on down? Yes. Keep digging down. Don't break it, so you've got to be very careful. Oh yeah. Ta-da! Oh! <laughs> Oh, this is so lovely, so relaxing, so warm. Jaden's taken his um, boot off to get a bit of fresh air to his leg, and he doesn't, so he doesn't get any sand in it. Um, we're gonna go and paddle our feet. Clear. It's so rocky as well. This, uh, this rock's now called Jeff. You're going to call the rock Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> Any see. reason why? Because it's Jeff. It's Jeff. It's just Jeff.
just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. We are at Camel Creek, heading into the reptile enclosure. Where are we going? Oh my goodness. Is he real? I don't think so. Is he real? What are you doing? 
the camera. Dad. Huh? Wrestling dad. Wrestling dad? Yeah. Mm. What kids you think now you're four? Mm. Mm. <coughs> Seppi, do you think that now you're four you can beat dad? likes the idea of me getting a VW camper van now. Last day today, well half a day, we are heading home today, um, that lovely bin, um, but we are going to Tintagel Castle to find out about King Arthur and that is one of our favourite things. So we're pretty excited about that David and I, the kids aren't overly interested but they like castles so that's a bonus um, and it is a beautiful sunny day in Bude. Uh, the sky is lovely and clear. So it's a lovely last day.